have no idea who's behind the mask. These are pedophiles. These are, are, these are people that prey on our children. Child predators, plain dress up. Police say parents need to know that they are out there. A registered sex offender was spotted dressed as a Japanese cartoon character called Pedo Bear. Mm -hmm. That happened in San Diego at a comics conference at an event that attracts plenty of families. And Tulsa police say this is a reminder to parents to watch your kids closely. Fox 23's Abby Offer is reporting live with more information on this. Abby? Well, Clay, in just a couple of weeks, the Tulsa State Fair will kick off, attracting thousands of children, possibly some child predators, who could be dressed up as this cute and cuddly bear. Tulsa police say they will be looking for them, and parents should too. Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Chuck E. Cheese, clowns, now the pedo bear. I'm watching everybody. Because underneath this costume could be a child predator. You have no idea who's behind the mask. In San Diego at the Comic Con conference, police found a registered sex offender who had previously assaulted a child dressed in this suit, handing out free candy. Children love animals. They love stuffed animals. One of these pedo bears walking through the fair is going to attract the, chil the children to them. And a parent that's not aware that this could be a pedophile making contact with my child doesn't know any different and snap pictures, you know, and allow them to have contact. And that simple contact could be all that that pedophile needs to fulfill his fantasy for the day. This pedo bear is the latest meme or internet trend that has gone viral, one that pokes fun of child predators. Some are claiming it's an internet hoax. Well, it's not an internet hoax because someone has taken it one step further. But it's not just an image on your computer screen. It can be a predator dressed up and looking for his next victim. These are pedophiles. These are, are, these are people that prey on our children. As in the case in San Diego, they may use candy to lure children closer, close enough to hug and touch your child. They're getting stimulated by that one touch. You don't see it. We don't know it because they're hidden under that costume, but that's their sexual stimulation. Keep your children away from these mascots. Keep your children away from anybody dressed up, coming up to, to embrace your child. Know who your child's around. You know, know what they're doing. Police say these pedophiles may have adopted this pedo bear as a mascot of sorts. Later tonight on Fox 23 News at 9, we'll take a look at the symbols that pedophiles may use to connect with other pedophiles and what police say you should report if you see it. Reporting live in Midtown Tulsa, I'm Abby Alford, Fox 23 News. Abby, thank you. And among the groups police are monitoring right now is the North American Man-Boy Love Association. The group's mission is to end age of consent laws. As always, if you suspect someone is having inappropriate contact with a child, report it so police can check it out. Tulsa police are looking.